Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate design and simulation of half wave AC to DC control rectifier for R load in PSIM. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it, only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. So, this is the circuit diagram of a half wave control rectifier. We are basically using a resistive load. So, we all know a rectifier is basically a device that is used to convert AC to DC, but what is a control rectifier? Since uh, we are using a thyristor which is basically a controlled switch, we will be able to control uh, the switch that is used in the circuit it is called as a control rectifier so what are the design steps that we have to follow so every design will require certain assumptions and certain requirements so we are designing the circuit for a supply voltage of 230 volt firing angle of 30 degree and a resistive load is considered for a value of 10 ohms our first step is to determine the average value so how do we determine the average value uh, v out is equal to vm into 1 plus cos alpha by 2 pi substituting and solving you'll be getting 96.60 volt once we know the average value of output voltage our next step is to determine the rms value of output voltage so we rms is equal to vm into root of pi minus alpha plus 0.5 sin 2 alpha whole divided by 2 root pi you'll be getting 160.27 volt so in case you would also like to see uh, the average output current so it's given by the simple formula i out is equal to v out by r that is 9.66 amps similarly you can find the rms value of output current as well i have not shown that in the calculation so these are the output voltage and rms value and average value of output voltage that we have to get for this particular circuit and if we are getting this then uh, we are in the right direction with respect to simulating the circuit let's go to pcm and start our simulation here we are in pcm so here we have the toolbox where we can uh, use the components that we want by di directly dragging and dropping so we will be using an ac voltage source uh, which is basically a sine wave uh, and that is uh, used as a supply in this case and once that is done we will be requiring a thyristor over here so uh, drag and drop that component and we also need a resistor rotate it by right clicking on the mouse and uh, you can complete the circuit diagram by connecting it in this particular fashion so the load is connected to the source in this particular fashion once this is done we will be requiring a gating block in order to trigger the thyristor so connect this in this particular fashion once this is done uh, so one of the most important steps here a lot of students make mistakes with respect to it so we have to enter the value 230 into root 2 which is basically 325.26 so this is the value uh, of the supply uh, the peak amplitude that we have to enter uh, with respect to the supply so be very careful with this that is 230 into root 2 should be substituted here the supply frequency is 50 hertz it depends on the frequency that you use in your country so once that is done uh, we will be using a thyristor as a switch so uh, the frequency should be in synchronism with respect to the supply frequency as a result change it to 50 if you are using as 5000 if you are going on with the same switching frequency uh, you will not get the output voltage uh, with respect to the controlled fashion like you will get the output voltage it will basically act as a diode you can try that out as well so the synchronism with respect to supply frequency is very very mandatory in this case so we are triggering at 30 degree up to 180 degree and after 180 degree natural commutation takes place and the thyristor will be turned off directly so how does natural commutation takes place and how to simulate that in matlab i've already done one of uh, the videos so you can check that out as well so the resistor uh, is used as a load and its value is chosen to be equal to 10 ohms once this is done we need a voltage measurement probe at the supply and the load terminals in order to measure the voltages and uh, to see them uh, at the output terminals so connect that in this particular fashion and we'll be using a uh, simulation control which uh, is basically the heart of controlling our runtime of our circuit so the total time let us assume it to be equal to 0.1 and uh, let the time step be as it is so it will actually change according to the circuit requirement so nothing has to be done with respect to it close this window and uh, click on run simulation and uh, choose the variables of uh, voltages that you want to check the waveform for you can also check the current by connecting an ammeter in series with the circuit so click on ok and over here you can separately view both of these waveforms individually in this particular fashion uh, you can also uh, view the supply the load voltage in this particular fashion so you can clearly see there is a delay between the supply and the load uh, load voltages so the delay is basically the firing angle alpha is equal to 30 degree and it is quite consistent during the negative half cycle the thyristor does not uh, conduct as a result the output voltage is equal to zero in this case so how do we measure the average and rms value so very very important observation to be made here also there is an option where you can directly uh, check or you can also go to analysis and measure average and rms value we will directly use this so go to average 
and uh, if you carefully observe uh, we are supposed to check with respect to the output voltage vp2 so 96.61 is what we are getting that is into 10 power 1 is there that is why it is 96.61 and uh, if you want to measure the rms value uh, you can see here 160.27 uh, so that is exactly what we are supposed to get with respect to our uh, circuit design so we are getting it so this is how we have to simulate a half uh, wave ac to dc control rectifier for an r load i hope the simulation and analysis is clear uh, in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another video